What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap up. And saw Mulan, and it is Disney's newest live action remake. And if you've seen some of my reviews before, I have mentioned to some that I am not a fan of reboots, and I also don't even like it when when they turn a anime classic into something live action. But you know, I still wanted to give it a chance, and surprisingly. Surprisingly, the movie was was pretty good, but prior to seeing the trailer, what what made me lose a lot of interest in when to see this was when I had got word that Mushu was not in it, and that and that right there, I just thought that wow, how you not gonna have Mushu in it? I mean, you're making a live action Mulan and not having Mushu. That's just like that's just like you know when they do like when they make the live action Little Mermaid and. And then say they choose not to have Sebastian or Flounder in it. Like, come on, man. But instead, instead, Mushu's replacement is this phoenix that's in the movie. That which, which, which pretty much did, which pretty much I felt like that, okay, I wasn't really too, really too fond of, of, of that. But, so, if you've seen, if you've seen the, the, the animated, the animated version of Mulan, then you pretty much got the gist of what the storyline is going to be, even though remakes, they do switch it up a bit. You know, Mulan, she disguised herself as a boy while training to, to save her father from getting drafted into this Chinese war. And this movie, what I have to say the best part about this movie was the action scenes, because... Like, with the type of action and type of killing, well, well, pretty much, with the type of killing they was doing in this movie, of course you're not going to see that in the cartoon, because, you know, that's not kid-friendly. But the action scenes is is what I really like. That is, that that was the number one thing I'd say I liked about the movie. And as far as for with the actors and actresses that were in the movie, the only one who I was able to recognize was Jet Li, who plays the Emperor of China in the movie. You know, but... You know the 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 woman who plays Mulan. She did a really good job, and I would like to see her get casted in more movies. I think they get they. I think that they did a good choice with picking her, and she did an amazing job playing Mulan. And another thing that that I have to say that another thing that 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 also did like with it was was some of the changes that they did make within the within the live action remake. I mean, you got this. You got you got you got this one guy who who was based off of Shan Yu. You know, he's the bad guy in the movie and you know cuz you know Shan Yu, he was he was the villain in Mulan and you also got and you also got this new villain in the movie. And I'm not a spoiler cuz you know that's not what I do, but yeah, the new villain that we got in the movie, you know, she was a pretty good villain. And and also one and also I did like how the way you know what they did with those characters because because when I saw the guy I probably figured that he was based off of Shan Yu even though even though his name is even though he has a different name in the movie and as for the phoenix I mean like the phoenix it looked way too way too CGI ish like you can tell that it you can you can automatically tell that it was CGI and I'm talking about like, and what I mean by you can tell, like you could tell that like, okay, like you're seeing the CGI effects already in it. Like they use way too much. Like if I was to see that thing in real life, I would feel like I'm in a world of, of, of animation. If, or I would feel like I'm in a world of Pixar or something. If I was to, if I was to see that, that Phoenix in real life. And, but I'm just like, okay, they was better off just having Mushu in it. I mean, I, I, I really think that having Mushu in this would even made the movie more enjoyable. Because yes, even though the movie was surprisingly good, there were some times where it was where it was pretty slow too, and I'm just thinking like, okay, I mean, th there is no way this is better than the than the than, than the animated version, which is not. I mean, the cartoon is always going to be the best one. The cartoon is just a classic, but judging by how the way that that this had ended, and a, I, I do think a sequel can be made, and if they was to see a sequel, and I mean, I mean, if they was to make a sequel then would i go see it i probably go see it because because cuz over, cuz overall i wasn't disappointed with the mulan with the mulan remake do i think it's one of the one of the good good disney remakes um yeah i think it is i mean i did 
I did like it more than I did than I did Aladdin. And I also did like it more than I did Alice Through the Looking Glass. And I almost want to say that that I did kind of like it more than than Peach Dragon, but but Peach Dragon, I, I honestly, I would have to like check that out again because when I was watching Peach Dragon, I wasn't really paying attention to it to it too much. But Mulan was, but yes, Mul Mulan, I do think it, I think it did save the Disney Company because it's been killing it in the box office, and and so far I have been hearing mostly good reviews about it. Oh, and I also like, and I also like, well, like the scenery because you know it's in China, you know the. You know, like the whole China, old China scenery and with the effects that they did with the scenery was just incredible. I did like that. You know, I did like I did like how, you know, it also had it also has showed also. Also, I did like how, you know, when it was like showing the Chinese culture within the movie when and that was another good thing about it. So which is why which is why I also say that, you know, this was still this was still another this was still a good movie and. You no, know, it is on a good movie. It is on a good list of the movies for 2020. However, you know, getting down, getting down to this review, and you know, because 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 you know, this was supposed to be released in the theaters, but it wasn't because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Instead, it got it got streamed onto Disney Plus for thirty dollars. Now, is it worth thirty dollars? Hell no. I mean. No, I don't think no movie being put on a streaming service is worth thirty dollars. I mean, I'm gonna be just straight up front. This movie is not worth thirty dollars. It's gonna be free on Disney Plus in December, and honestly, I would have to say, I have to say, I think you should wait until December to watch this movie because it is not something that that I would be in a big rush to to pay thirty dollars for. And you know, and if I would have went to go see this in movie theaters, I mean, I wouldn't have been disappointed, but. I mean thirty dollars? Come on now, do not do do not pay do not pay thirty dollars. I mean, if this thing was playing in theaters, I would tell you to go see it and not wait for it to go to the red box. But you know, but in a situation like this, thirty damn dollars? No, wait for it to go. Wait for it for it to be free on Disney Plus in December if you have Disney Plus. And for Mulan's grade, I give Mulan a B. And out of five stars, I give Mulan, Mulan three and a half out of five stars. And until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap up. And also, if you like this video, hit like. Feel free to comment below what you thought about the the review, or if you've seen Mulan already, feel free to comment on what you thought about what you thought about the movie. And if you want to see more reviews from me, hit subscribe to check out some more.